Hi, welcome to lecture number 6 of the process mining course. In this lecture, I'm going to explain the process performance mining. I'm going to cover the bottleneck analysis where we focus on the bottlenecks in the process. I'm going to cover the workload analysis where we focus on how busy we are. I'm going to cover the rework analysis where we focus on the tasks that we redo and why we are doing that. And I will cover the overprocessing uh, analysis where we focus on how much tasks that we do, but we shouldn't. The lecture is composed of three videos. The first video, I review the process performance measures. The second video, I cover the bottleneck analysis. And the third video, I cover the rework, the workload, and the overprocessing analysis. Let's start. So far in the course, we are explaining another capability of the business process mining. Uh, we will cover the combination between the performance mining and the variant analysis. So we will perform the performance mining uh, where we uh, discover certain bottlenecks in the business process or uh, certain uh, wastes of the business process and we compare uh, how the performance of the process will be with the existence of this bottlenecks and uh, with the absence of the bottleneck. Again, the worker flow of the process mining analysis. Uh, we start with automated process discovery as an exploratory phase where we open uh, the event log to discover the process map or the Pipperman model of the event log. And then, depends on the, depending on the phases of the project, we either go for conformance checking as we explained in the previous lecture, or we go for the performance mining to identify the bottlenecks and the wastes in the process. I'm going to give a review, a simple review of the common performance measures in uh, the process mining. Uh, the first uh, and the most important metric is the cycle time, which is the time between uh, a purchase order is being received and uh, the customer pays for the purchase. So it's the, the moment that we start executing a certain case till we end that case. The case duration can be divided into two uh, times. The first one is processing time, which is the time that I spend executing the activities inside the organization. And the, the second uh, type is the, time, the waiting time. The waiting time is the time that I am spending or my resources are there, I'm paying for them, but they are not executing anything. The summation of the processing time and the waiting time is the cycle time. For every case, we have a case duration or a cycle time. So in most of the event logs, we are going to report the average, the median, the total of these uh, cycle times or the case durations. The second measure of the performance uh, measures for the process mining is the cycle efficiency, which is the, the percentage between the processing time and cycle time. So we divide the processing time that we execute the tasks and the entire cycle time for the process. This uh, gives us the efficiency of the process. The more the efficiency is, the better the process is going to be. The third uh, performance measure uh, for process mining is the per instance cost, where we estimate the cost for every uh, instance of case execution inside the event log. And it's going to be the processing cost uh, in addition to the cost of waste. That gives us the per instance cost. The processing cost is the cost of executing the activities and the cost of, weight, of waste is the cost that I'm, I'm paying for the waiting between the activities. So the resources are going to be paid for their working hours, but the processing cost is the, the cost that I'm paying for the amount of time that they are really working for this process. And the cost of waste is the amount of money that I'm paying for this waiting time that I don't use my resources inside my process. Uh, typical costs that we have uh, is the resource cost, which is a salary or the per hour uh, salary for resources that we have inside the organization. The material cost is a cost that I'm paying for the material that I'm using in order to generate or build the outcome of the process. And the third cost is the compensation cost, which represents the cost that I'm paying to compensate the delays or the defects in my process. For the resource cost, we can um, perform some uh, performance uh, improvement uh, for the business process in order to 
reduce the cost uh, of the resources. However, the material cost, we can't control it within the process, and the compensation cost, we can reduce it if we can reduce the defect rate in the process. So the previous measure was about the cost. Now we are going to uh, present the uh, measure of the quality. The first uh, quality measure is the service quality or the product quality, which is the defect rate. The, um, how, much, uh, how much products that we have are going to be uh, redone within the uh, organization, which is the total number of cases that we have that there is uh, exists a defect in the process which includes redoing some kind of tasks. The second quality measure is the delivery quality. The first, one, uh, the first parameter for the, the delivery quality is the on-time delivery rate, which is how much cases that I'm delivering in time. Cycle time var variance is the change that I have from one uh, cycle time to the other. If we take the average of the cases, every case should not be that far away from the average of cases because that means there is randomness in the in executing the process within the organization which is a negative uh, metric a customer feedback score which is an external quality measure because we are getting uh, the feedback from the user in order to enhance the quality we need to reduce the defect rate we can do that using by teaching people or teaching the resources or training the resources how to reduce the defect rate inside, inside the organization. Zone time delivery rate, we can control it by making an agreement with uh, an organization or a company that will provide the delivery in time. And the customer feedback, it's an external quality measure. We can't uh, control it directly, but we can enhance the quality of our process in order to get a better feedback from the user. Uh, so the performance mining uh, includes a bottleneck analysis, workload and demand analysis, the rework analysis, and the overprocessing. In the next video, I'm going to cover the bottleneck analysis.